Well, um, probably the, the most interesting thing is is interacting with the with the passengers in um, uh, in compact enclosed setting. Um, I had a, a discussion with uh, some other musicians in one of the earlier uh, events, and we it was very interesting how um, we almost become family is too strong a word, but it's really there's there's some significant camaraderie going on between the the passengers and the and the inter, and artists uh, in a way that uh, because we're together in the same venue for for a significant amount of time in a connected contiguous. Uh, scenario it's it's different it's different you see people every day you know and some of them are fans from Litchfield quite a few people from Litchfield uh, the Ice Festival have come on this cruise and they they recognize me from that situation so that's pretty neat to see them again hey Don how you doing good to see you again etc and every day I see the same folks and that's great I see them at breakfast we see them at dinner um, that's great of course the musicians same thing we see each other a lot when we're on the road but in this situation we're seeing each other every day and uh, with some some regularity. It's different than usual. It's different than usual. When we're at home, we might see them at rehearsal at the gig, and then we're about gone home. And if, even if it's a tour, you know, over in, in some festival in Europe or wherever it is, you know, at the Litchfield Jazz Festival, we hang out for the day, and everybody goes home or goes to the next gig or whatever it is. This situation, we're seeing each other every day for several days. It's a really special thing. You know, you definitely create another kind of bond, both with the musicians and with the passengers. I think it's great. I'm having a great time. It's my first one here. I'm having a great time with it. Um, the, my main um, interest in general, my primary interest is our, our, our remaining living legends. So I spent some time out there with Jimmy Heath. I spent some time out there with Ben Golson. I just saw him just a second ago uh, playing. I'll make sure I see him a couple more times. Um, Carmen Bradford's here. She's not really quite legendary in a way, but she's amazing. So, you know, I was really honored to, to, to get to see her. Actually, a guy who's not booked on the cruise as a player, but who's a legendary uh, guy, is John Handy. He's actually a passenger on the cruise, so I hung out and jammed with him for a lot of night last night. And didn't expect that, because he wasn't on the list of anything, but there he was, and he had his alto in the passenger jam. So I went and saw him, I was like, well, I'm going to have to go hang out with the passengers today, because he was there, and that was awesome. Um, of course, the, the other whole... Uh, I'm fascinated to hear all my colleagues and what they're doing. So Kirk Whalen is here. I'm a big fan of Kirk. Uh, Rini Rossness is always, a, we play together a lot, so it's good to hear what she's doing, Bill Charlap. Um, Wycliffe Gordon's amazing, so I'm happy to, to get another, you know, hear him again, get another look at his, him and his music. Um, Gary Simoleon, a colleague, you know, Dick Oates. Um, yeah, a lot of, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's great, you know, to hear, to hear the, to hear my colleagues and, and the legends are just, knocking me out. <laughs> you know, Golson sounds better than ever. He was amazing. Strangest thing. Um, well, nothing strange. It's only been a couple days, so nothing strange has really happened yet. i got to say, give it a couple more days for the real true strangeness to occur with, with so many musicians, 100 musicians, and, you know, about 1,500 jazz fans or however many. The likelihood of strangeology is up there, you know, so I'm, I'm going to look for you. Catch me in a couple days. That said, uh, the situation where I bumped into John Handy was kind of kind of unique because I was walking, looking for Johnny O'Neill because he's playing the piano bar, another guy who I was looking to hear, and he sounded great. I got to hear a couple tunes of his. And so um, I'm on the way to the piano bar after we played our set. And, oh, I, I actually, it reminds me of a slightly strange thing that happened, but anyway, on the way to Johnny O'Neill, uh, a passenger walks up to me and says, Don Braden, which has happened, of course, 20 times a day. So, Don Braden, and who are you? Whatever. You remember me? Always. This, it's like, um, well, because uh, most of the time I don't. I admit, you know, I see hundreds of people all the time, and it's like, well, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Nice young man. Um, anyway, he's a passenger and trumpet player. Pretty good flugel and trumpet player. And he uh, invites me. I'm saying, I'm on the way to see Johnny. He says, well, Don, on break. Why don't you come and hang out with us in the passenger jam? And so I'm like... I'm not sure if I want to do this, you know, but he was a nice guy. He was cool about it. I didn't know what to expect, you know, so I was a little bit worried. But I, wa really, I walked in, and uh, he and I played a little bit together. It was cool, you know. I'm, I'm really, uh, I have fun hearing everybody at every level anyway because I'm an educator as part of the story. And so, um, but that, the, the way that unfolded, 
I just went on my way to Johnny O'Neill, and, and, and he says, oh, he, he kind of hoodwinked, you know, he like, you know, what do you call it, Shanghai? Or what? I'm not sure what the proper, you know, a verb is for adverb, whatever a verb is for that. But he, he grabbed me and, and took me in the other, in the, in the passenger jam. And, and, the, and the place is funny because it's called, uh, Nest? No, it's a starlight or something like Northern Lights. Northern Lights. It's got LEDs flashing all around. <laughs> so it's kind of psychedelic in there. And it looks like 70s decor. Like the, the chairs are kind of blue, kind of vinyl, whatever, whatever. And then the walls are red LEDs, the blue, whatever. And, the, and it's kind of echoey in there. It's kind of interesting. So that was kind of surreal for a minute. And then, you know, when John Handy comes in, and then he kind of, he kind of, he kind of brought me back to Earth. It's like, okay. There you go. That's that's my that's my grounding. Although the, the young man who brought me in, the gentleman who brought me in was was, was was actually really pretty cool. But it was the level of course was very kind of varied naturally. So that was a little bit surreal. But that was that was yeah, strange in some ways.